Poke players, I literally just rolled out of bed and some huge news just came out about Pokemon Go Fest and Pokemon Go Safari Zone. Are you wondering about all the details? Well, look no further than Pokemon Go with yours truly, Poketuan. All right, trainers, so some brand new news just came out, y'all, announcing Pokemon Go Fest and Pokemon Go Safari Zone. Let's click the news icon, and oh man, y'all, there it is. Get pumped up for Pokemon Go Summer Tour 2018, y'all. This is gonna be exciting. Man, I am way too stoked right now, and I haven't even had coffee yet. All right, so this is just a quick summary of it right here, but uh, let's actually go to the Pokemon Go Live website here and check out uh, some more details here. All right, so of course, get pumped up, y'all. Let's read it all the way through. It's time to mark your calendars and get ready for an exciting lineup of Pokemon Go events all around the world. This year, we're bringing dynamic live events to even more places. It's the Pokemon Go Summer Tour 2018. This is huge. Trainers across Europe, get ready for a Safari Zone event in Dortmund, Germany. Together with the city of Dortmund, we will host an event from June 30th to July 1st in beautiful Westfalen Park. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Westfalen Park is not only one of the largest inner city parks in Europe, but also includes elaborate water features, a Japanese garden, and large playgrounds for kids and families. Enjoy the fresh air and beautiful view while catching many types of Pokemon. Activities will expand to Dortmund's entire city district, inviting players from all over Europe to explore the city's cultural history through Pokemon Go. This is an open event for all to enjoy, so book your travels and accommodation soon. More detailed information on the Dormund's Safari Zone event, please visit that website, y'all. You just gotta click that link right there that says event website, and uh, you'll get more details. Then, let's get to America, y'all. Our biggest North American event is back with a brand new look. Pokemon Go Fest returns to Chicago from July 14th to July 15th, y'all. So make sure you get off of work, uh, make some travel plans. Pokemon Go Fest 2018, a walk in a park will offer a unique immersive play experience unseen anywhere else that will create a day long adventure for trainers. The event will be held in the city's historic Lincoln Park with a 1.8 mile walking course that among the tree line greenery, ooh, they had to slip that one in, will include exclusive activities for trainers of all ages. Single day passes go on sale on May 11th for $20 on our event website. Also, check the event website for details on hotel accommodations and stay tuned for more details. All right. We've also been inspired by the spirit and dedication of trainers who have come to our events throughout Asia. From Totori to Seo and Shai A, or I think I'm saying that right, y'all. Feel free to uh, correct me in the comments down below. So sorry about that. We've been lucky to see hundreds of thousands of trainers coming together to view breathtaking scenery, catch many types of Pokemon, and enjoy unique real world experiences. We'll have a safari event in Yokosuka, Japan. I think I said that one right. Later this summer to be followed by an exciting schedule for our trainers across Asia. Keep an eye out, y'all, for more details, man. I'm telling you, this website has everything, y'all. Every time an update comes out, just go here. Um, 
they won't stir you in the wrong direction. If you're unable to make it to one of our live events this summer, there are still plenty of amazing ways to partake in the action. Hmm, I'm, let's keep reading. Trainers across the globe will be able to engage in a variety of activities and challenges, so you'll be able to take part no matter where you are. Announcements on these features will be forthcoming, so watch out for more news. We invite you to join us and adventure even from your hometown. Plus, there are monthly gatherings happening all over the world with Pokemon Go Community Day on Saturday, May 19th. Okay, this is a plug right here for this next Community Day with Charmander, y'all. It's gonna be lit. Oh, as a matter of fact, Community Day here in San Francisco will be happening down at Cupid's Arrow. I hope you guys can all come down. Cupid's Arrow was actually the very first uh, Charmander nest in Pokemon Go, or at least that I know of, um, and it had hundreds and thousands of trainers coming there for months on end until uh, the nest eventually changed. I can remember like leaving the Charmander nest around like, you know, two, three in the morning and people would be on their way to the China, uh, the Charmander nest. Like, hey, are you guys going to go catch Charmanders? I'm like, oh uh, yeah, we're done. I'm going home. You guys are getting here. Have fun, y'all. Um, but such a fun event. They just had to plug that one in there. All right, let's continue, y'all. Um, let's see what else they have here. Oh, wow. So it looks like they announced the other community day dates right in here, too. So make sure you mark your calendars and gear up for events on Saturday, June 16th and Sunday, July 8th. All right. So I can put my request in now. That is super, super cool. Y'all get off work as we get closer to those dates. We will review the starring Pokemon, an exclusive move that can only be learned on community day and special bonuses that will be available throughout the length of the events. In addition to our own events, we also partake in civic and service oriented events throughout the year, benefiting a number of causes. Seeking a way to connect with your city or community while discovering and catching Pokemon or to get the latest on all the upcoming live events. Don't forget to, of course, go to PokemonGoLive.com slash events. They have all this information up here uh, to see what's coming next. We're proud to bring you these special events across the globe, but there's still one important thing missing. You. That's right, y'all. You. Let us know what event you'll be attending on the social media channel you love. And don't forget to include the hashtag PokemonGoSummer. See you there, trainers. Wow, that's a pretty good way to sum up the event, y'all. The Pokemon Go team is keeping us updated. They have announced Pokemon Go Fest. They've announced Pokemon Go Safari Zone. And it looks like one, two, and wow, and two community days, y'all. That is super legit. This was definitely a very good newsworthy episode to put together. Now I'm not so uh, frustrated about hopping out of bed and like a madman and getting this video together. But yes, y'all, this is exciting news. Pokemon Go Fest is actually coming, y'all. So I actually started Pokemon Go with Poketuan back in May. Um, before that, I was just opening up Pokemon cards, um, posting those videos for like two, three years. Um, but yeah, when I started this show last year back in May, um, one of the big things was coming to Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago, representing San Francisco. I actually did a really, really nice documentary on Pokemon Go Fest last year. So let's actually go on to the channel right there, y'all. There it is, the Poketuan channel. Hit that bell notification on the channel so you can see all my videos come to you. Um, but yeah, let's go down, y'all. This is actually, wow, episode 64 that you are viewing. Uh, the Pokemon Go Fest documentary that I did was actually episode three, y'all. So it was literally at the birth of uh, the Poketuan show. And bam, there it is, y'all. Pokemon Go Fest documentary Pokemon Go with Poketuan episode three, only 846 views, but man, it is a whopping one hour long. And I can tell you, it's definitely a one hour that I would say uh, to take your time to watch. Um, I wasn't doing much vlog style shooting in this video. Uh, it was mainly getting a lot of B-roll, um, different shots of the scenery, the crowds, um, and laying some voiceover over uh, the actual uh, clip. So. I might do something like that again um, for this year, uh, but let me know what you guys think um, after you know watching a few minutes of that video. Let me know exactly what you think. How should I structure this video? Should I go in it vlog style? Should I do it only documentary or maybe do a little bit of both? I'm not too sure y'all. You let me know down in the comments and I will definitely take your advice to the heart. 
and I know we looked at this earlier, but real quick, y'all, this is just a quick summary. If you don't want to go to Pokemon Go Live and read uh, all those paragraphs, bam, there's just a little summary of it right here for you. Bam, screenshot that, take a look at it. So I cannot wait until Pokemon Go Fest, y'all. I am literally going to get on my phone right now and start putting in my request, but uh, Pokemon Go Fest should be pretty exciting. I'm really hoping that at Pokemon Go Fest this year, uh, they're gonna release a lot more regionals, hopefully like Corsola, Mr. Mime. I mean, it would be really, really cool just to be able to walk around um, Lincoln Park and catch a bunch of regional mons. Uh, I think last year, I remember last year being out at like two, three in the morning, catching unknowns and looking for hair cross. So, I mean, Chicago is fun, y'all. Chicago is one wild city. I remember I stayed in Humboldt Park when I was there, so, I'm not sure if I'm gonna move around to different districts or whatever, but I'm um, excited that it's gonna be in Chicago again. It's actually not too far. It's a four hour flight from San Francisco. There are gonna be thousands and thousands of trainers there. I'm sure I'm gonna run into my fellow Pokey tubers out there, y'all. Elijah Watts, Mr. Six, Zoe Two Dots. There's gonna be so many trainers there and I cannot wait. Just imagine this Pokemon Go Fest has to be big. If you remember last year, it was a disaster in terms of uh, people getting service on their phones, uh, people getting into raid battles. Literally, go back and watch the Pokemon Go documentary, y'all. I interviewed so many people. People are giving their perspectives on the event and people were pretty mad. And you can see the frustration on people's faces. I ran into one person who only caught like two Pokemon all day during the event. So it's definitely a documentary worth checking out, y'all link down below in the description. I think the best place you wanna go if you wanna catch a bunch of different types of Pokemon, different like regionals, it's most likely gonna be the Pokemon Go Safari Zone. Um, but you never know, Pokemon Go Fest might have those additions there too. Last year we had Heracross and Unknown. So um, we could see possibly Kangaskhan, we could see possibly Mr. Mime, whatever it is, just put something there exclusive to make trainers go nuts and berserk and have so much fun catching Pokemon, because that's what it's all about, y'all, getting together as a community and hunting super rare Pokemon and feeling really excited once you catch them or discover them. I'm really pumped up for this event, and I think I said this in the Pokemon Go Fest documentary last year, um, was that Niantic, uh, I think, saw last year's event as a test, and I'm pretty sure they've got all the kinks worked out and ready to go. I think the biggest problem uh, with the event was the cell phone service. Uh, you only had Sprint as the sponsor of the event, but I think AT&T and Verizon, um, they needed more towers up in that area, more cell towers so people can have better reception. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty fun, y'all. I am so pumped for Pokemon Go Tour 2018, y'all. Stay tuned because I have so much more content coming soon. But of course, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Pokemon Go with Poketwan, you know me, one of the biggest polka maniacs in town. Y'all me Poketwan is out. Peace.